Today it's a bit of an unplanned video. I'm working on black eyes. This was a request a few weeks ago, so here we go. First thing you wanna want to do is add some motion tracking to your clip to track the eye of your person. In my case, it moves quite a bit, so it's quite in important to have this step. If your subject doesn't move at all, there's no use to do it in you in doing it. <coughs> so you're gonna want the window of the motion tracking to be a bit wider, well bigger than the eye of your subject. Then I change the fr number of frames to one because it takes everyone, like every frame, it's gonna take a, a position. And then I just click on analyze. If your subject has a very dark face, like on the right of my subject, you're gonna maybe want to do it a bit differently. What I did is first I added busy curve to be able to see his face more. To, because it's quite black and so it will be easier if it's brighter. So now I can see what I'm doing. And then I'm also actually gonna change the type of uh, interpretation, whatever it's called. Uh, I tried the first three and the third one worked better, so I just used the third one, MOSS. And then I click on Analyze and now it's gonna be the same for both of cli the clips. So you're gonna um, create a color clip. So here I uh, made a red color clip because I can see it better. With black you're not gonna be able to see what you're doing. Then I'm gonna add a transform to that clip. And I'm gonna go back to my first clip and I can now copy the keyframes since they're done and paste it into this effect, so you have to do import the keyframes. I just realized that it didn't record right, your movement is gonna be shown. So like right now, it's following his eye, but you can see it's not the right shape, of course. So to make this shape right, you're gonna add a rotoscoping effect. So just drag it onto your clip and then you're gonna make a rough shape of an eye, but like big, because it's transformed. Oh yeah, you need to put the rotoscoping on top else it's not gonna work. You can try it, you'll see what's wrong, but yeah. So you need to make the shape of an eye. So start rough and then you're gonna see if it's okay and then you're gonna need to adjust that. That might take a while, but it's worth it. Uh, you're basically only gonna have to do it once for real and then add a few keyframes to make it better um, at the end. So once you're happy with your shape, you can add a bit of feathering and then you're gonna need to just uh, play it back and see what that looks like. So it's quite nice, honestly. Uh, one thing is right here, when he moves his face, like it, t it turns his head. And so the eye isn't aligned anymore, so I'm gonna add a keyframe right before the start of the head turn, so it stays in the right position at that moment. And then I'm gonna add a keyframe at the highest point of the frame turn and I'm gonna adapt the the shape of the eye for both of these keyframes. Then you can take a keyframe for from where the eye was uh, still in the right orientation and drag it all the way to the right and that's gonna make uh, your keyframe for after the head turn. And yeah, make as many keyframes as needed uh, for it to be smooth, but you can see it's not that many compared to the number of keyframes that we have with the transform, so it's still quite efficient. And lastly, you can change the color of the, your color clip. Uh, once again, the window didn't appear, but if you double click on it, it's gonna prompt you if you want to change the color. And yeah, this is pretty nice. So yeah, I hope you like it. Uh, as always, as you can suggest requests in the description, there's a form, and I made a Discord server, nothing much happens, but it's still nice. If you have questions, you can go there. And maybe I'll make another video this week, we'll see. Bye bye!